Okay, hi everyone. How's it going? So we are doing a recreation today because I did not know what to film. So that's kind of what's going to happen. But it's um, a pretty neat look. It's going to be this one by Linda Hallberg. It's got some like gold and black smokiness. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if I can do this. Um, I am going to start with my eyes today because I'm going to want to add some tape in to help sharpen things up. Um, so yeah, let's zoom in, do the eyes, and then, you know, get on with the video. To start off with eye primer, I'm going to use the one from e.l.f. It's their putty eye primer in the shade cream. This is going to help to cancel out the veins and discoloration on my eyes. Okay, so when you're adding tape to your eyes, you want to be careful because the skin around your eyes is very delicate. So grab your piece of tape, put it on the back of your hand, peel it off a couple times, you know, make sure it's not hella hella sticky. And then you can go ahead and apply it onto your eyes. So just take your time, make sure that you're placing it in the area that you would like. Are these even? Not entirely, but it's probably as close as I'm going to get it, so let's move on. I am going to use the Beauty Bay Fiery 2.0 just because it kind of has all the colors I'm looking for, which is really just a brown, gold, and black. So whatever you've got in your collection, go ahead and use that. I'm going to start with the shade Brunette right here. The nice thing about having tape is that you really don't have to worry about the edges. You can just and know that it's going to be clean. Now I am going to go in with a black. I like to start out with a tinier pencil brush and then work my way up a little bit just because for me, it works better in terms of blending. I find that I have a bit more control when I do this. Um, so I'm gonna use a tiny little pencil brush and go into the black shade in the palette. She really has a nice defined crease in there and it just goes into a deep outer wing. So let's do that. Begin to hold up the wing and then pull it right up into the crease. I'm hardly applying any pressure when placing down this shade as well. Because when you're working with blacks, you just you want to go slow. Let's start to fill in the outer corner and build up the intensity. I'm going to dip back into that first shade and add more of that right above. With a slightly thicker pencil brush, I'm going to begin and blend out the edge of that black. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other side. Now, let's do some of the gold, shall we? Let's go into champagne first and see what that does. Okay. I'm pulling back from the shimmer for a minute because I felt like I needed a bit more of a gradient from the black to the brown. So I'm taking this shade called Woo and I'm placing that right in between. That was it. That was it. Yeah, it just looks a bit more seamless as opposed to being like, here's one shade, here's the next. Like, no. You need to blend. I'm all over the place. I'll be doing one thing and then I'll see something else and I'll be like, okay, let me stop, go back to it. Like, I'm a mess. 
I am actually going to leave the eyes at this right now and then I'm going to come back to them after just because I'd like to do my lower lash line and all of that after my base is done just personal preference but yeah so let's go ahead and do the skin I'm going to peel this tape off very very gently You see, that is sharp, 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 sharp. Let's go ahead and do complexion. I do already have primer. I used a face oil. So that's been like sitting on my face for quite some time now. And I also used the e.l.f. poreless putty thing on my nose. <laughs> okay, for skin, Linda always does her skin makeup very like natural, but it looks so flawless. I'm kind of just going to do what I typically do and what I would like this eye look to be paired with on my face. Anyway, I'm going to begin with the Auric Glow Lust to give a lot of luminosity on my skin. So I like to put this all over the place. But this is a very multi-purpose product so you can really use it any way that you wish go ahead and use the e.l.f. camo cc cream in the shade light 240 i'm going to take a pump and work that all around my skin starting off with the center and then working my way out for concealer i'm going to go in with two today i'm going to use the e.l.f. hydrating camo first this one I'm mainly using as my concealer, even though out of habit, I'm placing it in all the areas I would typically highlight as well, but yeah. And because I am going to be placing a bit of a gold, like inner corner, I want to make sure that it's nicely concealed just so that it can really pop and blend, or I don't know what I'm saying. And then going in with the Jouer High Coverage Concealer in Chiffon. And I'm going to use this just on any areas I want to bring forth a little bit more. I don't really want to move around that second layer of concealer too much because I'm placing it in those specific areas for a reason. And, you know, I definitely am like, let's take it all over, but trying to get better at, you know, having some more control. Okay, blended, sweet. Let's go ahead and add powder to make sure that it's all nicely set. And I usually always set the center of my face and underneath my eyes for two reasons. One, because I wanna make sure that I look dewy on the perimeters and not oily so i'm like controlling any shine in the middle and also by applying some powder underneath my eyes one it's going to help with making sure my concealer doesn't move around but it's also going to help to kind of flatten that area out go ahead and pat this out and go in with my sponge to mattify See? I don't know if you can tell. I think you can tell, but this just looks a bit smoother underneath the eyes. You know, you can't really see the divots, any discoloration, like it just looks like an even surface. Whereas this one, yeah, it's covered, but you know, you can still see like my eye bag. <laughs> and makeup isn't going to fully cover that, but it can give the illusion. Okay, I definitely think we need to contour this face. So, I'm going to use the Alamar Complexion Trio. I don't really add contour powder on my forehead to contour it necessarily, but I like there to be a gradient when it comes to like my face powders as well, if I am going in with a contour and a bronzer. And then I'm taking some of the bronzer in that palette. Give a nice 
bronze to my skin. I always think smoky eyes look good with really bronzy skin. I don't know what it is. Okay, for some highlight, what do I want to add? What haven't I used in a while? Should I go in with the, <laughs> you guys can't answer. Um, I am going to take the Vision Flush from Danessa Myricks in the shade Tiara. Use this to highlight. God damn, what a, oh fuck dude, so fucking pretty. For blush, I'm gonna go on the safe side and do just a peachy tone. It kind of looks like that's what's going on, but at the same time, I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Keep It Peachy. Use this all the damn time. Finishing off the eyes, I'm not gonna zoom in again. We're just gonna keep it at this. It really just looks like it's black and then gold. That's kind of it, which I love. Simple and to the point. And I want to lightly smooth out the outer wing just so it's not as harsh because it looks like it's a bit blurred in the photo. Just a bit of like a softer wing. I kind of want to go into the shade Honey and use that for the inner corner. It looks a bit warmer, so I want to see, yeah, it's kind of just all the way wrapped around. And it also comes into the lower lash line. All right, well, I'm going to add some mascara and lashes and also some eyeliner, and then we can wrap up the video. So I'll be back. So, lashes are on. I used the Ardell Foam Ink Demi Wispies, but I only took the outer corners. And then for lips, I forgot I had to do that. So the combination I used was the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner in Keep It Spicy, along with the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Peanut Brittle. And yeah, that's that. I don't think this makeup look was that difficult to do. Like, yeah, it was a little complex, but with the tape, that really just kind of completes it. I might start using tape again because, wow, how easy. Yeah, fun. This was cool. I will have Linda Hallberg's Instagram and I believe YouTube channel linked down below. Check it out. The artwork that is created is insane. It's insane. Okay. Um, but yeah, this was fun and I had a good time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. How did that even happen? Literally, how did that happen? How did... There's always something. Pretty fresh.